Hello movie lovers, Bob for Bob's movie review here and today I'll review for you a movie I just watched called Astro. Be sure to click subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload great new content. If you enjoy the video, be sure to show it some love and give it a like rating. So this one will be releasing on DVD June 5th, 2018. I'm not sure if it's getting video on demand the same day or not, uh, but it will be getting a DVD June 5th. And surprisingly, this movie is actually going to be distributed by Sony Pictures Home Entertainment. This movie is not rated, is an action sci-fi thriller, and has a one hour and 44 minute, I believe, runtime. It is directed by Asif Akbar and stars Gary Daniels, Marshall Hilton, Courtney Akbar, Max Wassa, Louis Mandalore, Michael Pear, and Randy Wayne. So as I said, this movie is, in a way, an action movie. Our main character, Jack, played by Gary Daniels, is an ex-army special forces type guy, and he seems to be like a really good fighter now, and he seems to get into a lot of fighting scenes in this one. And they have like the most ridiculously over uh, exaggerated sound effects ever every time he's fighting. Except for the one time when he stabs this guy a bunch of times. It, there's almost no sound and the guy doesn't even like groan or anything. I'm like, now they're like, they go from like awkwardly loud exaggerated sounds to awkwardly no sounds. <laughs> like, I don't know what the deal was with that. I would say this is primarily a sci-fi movie though. Another character, Alexander, played by Marshall Hilton, plays another ex-Special Forces guy uh, who was helped out by aliens and now he's like rich and he has his own space exploration business and it's, it, it's a little strange the story and he's like developing all these new technologies and traveling in space and he captures an alien who happens to ha be a DNA descendant of Jack. So now he has to bring in Jack to figure out what exactly is going on. So there are some CGI elements to this movie, but they're so terrible, you have to kind of ask yourself why they even included them. Uh, I'm talking about like spaceships flying in space with like really low resolution textures. The, the video was just like really choppy. Uh, it just looked like really bad video games from like the 90s and I don't even think like the late 90s. I, I just wonder how necessary it really was to even have in there for how horribly bad it looked. It just... I won't, I won't rate the movie down for it though. This is obviously a low budget title. The first half of the movie though, it's like Jack's 50th birthday and his daughter is hanging out with him and it's just like kind of boring it's like it kind of jumps around in time a lot too and you're kind of confused on what's even going on and what what's now and what's the present and they just suddenly go into these flashbacks and you're just like what is what is the timeline of this movie and there's not a lot going on and you're just like oh gosh the acting oh, leaves a lot to be desired for sure uh, the second half, though, I kind of felt like the story got a little more interesting. Uh, there was a little more action. Uh, the, <clears throat> the story was getting better. Uh, it felt like it kind of like abruptly ended, though, and it didn't really have like an actual ending to the movie. At least to me, it didn't really satisfy uh, my curiosity for what was going to happen. Um, so I think for a score on this one, guys, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10. It's really hard to do these sci-fi movies really low budget like this, and they rarely turn out great. Um, I have to say, if the first half of this movie was a little better, I probably would have gave it at least an average rating. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to give it just a below an average at 4. Uh, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy the review. If you did, remember to give it a like rating. If you guys are curious about more information, including affiliate links to purchase Astro on Amazon, they can be found in the description below. If you haven't already subscribed for more videos, check out the suggested videos. Check my website, bobsmoviereview.com. And I'll see you guys next time.